Hey guys, it's X Romney here today to bring you guys another gameplay slash commentary on YouTube. And today for you guys, I have the third episode of Best Gun Setup and Call of Duty Black Ops 2, so hope you enjoy it. And as you may see, I'm not actually doing a live commentary today. And I did actually try this quite late last night, and I wasn't really, because oh, I'm not really a fan of the SWAT. And I really wasn't doing very good. So, because I'm actually, like, not very good when it comes to live commentaries. I'm not very good at speaking and playing. And I got one half-decent game, but I literally didn't speak. So I deleted it. But I thought I'd just quickly go for a swarm of it. And this gameplay is actually a swarm of a swap. And I'll basically, it'll be exactly the same, but I'll be going into a bit more detail than usual. So basically, on the um, gun today, you saw the class at the beginning. Make sure to go back and freeze it if you want to use this class. And remember, this is my own personal opinion. So if you don't like the class, I'm sorry. But... But remember, it's my, my own opinion. You can use whatever you want. I'm not telling you to use it. Um, just use it if you want to. So, anyway, the attachments I'm using on the SWAT today are the select fire and the extended clip attachment. And I'm going to be using the select fire attachment because, as you can see, this gun is a free round burst um, assault rifle, and close range it won't be very powerful at all. So I usually switch up to the fully automatic mode uh, for the close range engagements and then for the long range engagements I use the three round burst so that's why I'm using the select fire attachment and then as the second attachment I'm using extended clip and that I basically use extended clip on every single one of my guns and the extended clip is the basically it allows me to reload less and it also allows me to take out more enemies with one clip so they're the attachments for today and then I've actually received recently so I don't I'll usually be using C4 instead of Semtex and I've also changed another thing as well usually as you know I run ghost and hardline on every single class but um, I was watching one of Jay Nasty's videos and also someone commented on my latest video saying Ghost is not very necessary on non-silence weapons. So what I'll do is now, um, on say this weapon, um, I'll be using flat jacket and hardline as the first two perks. But because I'm not a very high rank, I didn't, uh, I didn't have flat jacket unlocked, so I had to use ghost and hardline. But basically on non-silence weapons, I'd use flat jacket and hardline. And then on silence weapons, I'd use ghost and hardline. So that's just a little bit of a change. Um, from before, but yeah, so that's I just thought I'd tell you guys. So from now on, on non-silence weapons, I'll be running flat jacket instead of ghost, and then on silence, I'll be running ghost instead of uh, flat jacket. So I just thought I'll let you know. And this is actually a double swarm fail. I think I got shot for a wall by an MTAR. Um, which is pretty unfortunate, and then there's this newbie R60 final kill cam here. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Could we please try and hit 40 likes in this video, please? I know these do quite well. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope you all learn a nice day. Peace.